In this lesson, I'll be covering competitor traffic analytics. So what I'll be going through with you is tools that will assist you to analyze your competitors' traffic sources. So if you have a product you're marketing and you can identify a similar product in your niche, you find the website URL for the sales page for that product and based on the URL, you can gather a whole pile of information which can help you analyze your competitors' traffic. Now, why would you want to analyze your competitors' traffic? And that's a good question. I'll just go through good reasons to do so. An analysis of your competitors' traffic can help you in your own business by letting you monitor your competitors' online behavior. You can view where their traffic is coming from, so you can actually see what websites that is driving traffic to them. For example, there might be Facebook, so you know Facebook advertising could be part of it. There could be other URLs. If it's a health and wellness product, it might come from a particular health blog. Now, in that case there, you can actually see if you can get some advertising yourself on that same blog. And this is all completely legal and ethical. You can view where their traffic is going to, so you're able to discover new traffic sources for your niche. Now, one way is finding out what URLs are driving traffic. Another way you can discover new traffic sources is that depending on what package you go for, some of them are able to show what keywords, both organic and paid, are being used to drive traffic to that site. Now, that is very powerful because if you know what keywords people are using in their pay-per-click or their organic, that will actually allow you to compete on the same keywords if you want to do some pay-per-click ads or if you want to do some SEO to get your website ranked. So that is just unbelievably powerful. Also, you can model their advertising. You can do this in a number of ways. You can find their ad on one of the websites that's sending them traffic, for example, a health blog. You can just go onto that health blog and see if you can see their advertising and then you can do something similar. Now, don't do something exactly the same because then you can get in trouble, but you can do something a bit similar. You can also do a search on the keyword and if it comes up on the organic results, you can see what they're doing to convert those visitors on their website. If it comes up in the PPC advert results, you can then check out the way they're doing their ads and landing pages. That's just another way you can model their advertising. So it's pretty powerful. Powerful. And the thing with this is that it takes out a lot of the guesswork, so that is a massive advantage. I'll just give you a list of networks that allow you to do this traffic analysis. We have SimilarWeb.com, Compete.com, MonitorBacklinks.com, RankSignals.com, SEO Spyglass, Ahrefs.com, and there's a list of traffic tools available at mytrafficmentor.com slash spy on your competitors. That is a brilliant resource if you're interested in doing this. Okay, I've just gone over to similarweb.com and I'll just give you a very small demo just to touch on some of the analysis you can do. And this one here is straight on the home page and the search I'll be doing on this one is basically a free one. So what you do is you get your competitor's URL and for example, if you're doing something about losing belly fat and you wanna find one of your competitor's products, by the way, a good way of finding your competitor's products is just doing a Google search, or you can even go into ClickBank and do a search on the categories in there. But there's one I know that is pretty popular and it's called Six Pack Shortcuts. So I'll just enter that URL in here. So that URL is sixpackshortcuts.com. And up here, it gives you its global web rank, which is 27,860 in the world. In the US, it's 14,757 and in the business and industry section it is 1620. Now here it gives you the number of hits on their website and this is getting a lot of hits, getting about 2 million in May, then it goes up to 2.3 in July, tapers back a bit in September and it started to go on the increase in October 2014 with 1.6 million views. If you just scroll down a bit further, it gives you a breakdown of the type of traffic sources that it's been receiving traffic from in the last three months. So you've got direct, referrals, search traffic, social media, email, which is very minor there at 0.1%, and display. Display would mean advertisements. Now, if you click on some of these, now under the referring sites, you can see which sites have been referring traffic to that website. Back over here under search, it will give you the organic keywords and also the paid keywords. 
under social, this will give you the main sources of traffic. Now, YouTube is 56% of that and Facebook is 34%. So YouTube could be a good way if you've got a similar product and also Facebook advertising. Also, display. So display basically means advertising and these websites here are places where advertising can occur for this particular thing. And with a certain package, you can actually look at the ads by clicking on show what the ads look like. So there's just a ton of information. It gives you audience, interests, similar sites. And I'm only just scratching the surface here. I just want to show you the power of these types of sites. Okay, I'll just scroll down to here and it's got where the traffic's coming from here. And as you can see here, the United States has got 51.17%. So it's got the countries where the traffic's coming from, the top ones. Now you can get every single country if you go up to the pro package. This is just the free one. And in the referring sites, you can see there's BuzzFeed, MemberMouse.com, TotalJerkFace.com, funny name that one, and MyFitnessPal. And you can just have a look at some of these sites. Now, this is BuzzFeed. Now, BuzzFeed is a very popular website and it does send traffic to a lot of different advertising products. So this is probably a good place if you want to advertise something that is similar to six pack shortcuts and obviously a lot of other things. This is another one which is sending traffic to there. This is myfitnesspal.com, which was on that list. And then Afterburn Fuels. And as you can see here, Afterburn Fuels is actually a website by Mike Chang. And Mike Chang is the owner of Six Pack Shortcuts. Now he's using this other website to also send traffic to his Six Pack Shortcuts. So it can just give you an idea of what your competitors are doing. And then if you want to do similar type things, it can be really helpful. Now, if you click on any of these links here, this will bring up the exact same information for those sites. Like, so totaljerkface.com is getting its traffic from these ones. And then you can drill down again and you can drill deeper and deeper. So it is pretty powerful and I'm only just scratching the surface as there is paid packages which offer a lot more information than what is here. Anyway, I just thought I'd share those awesome tools with you and doing analysis on your competitor's traffic or spying if you like is an awesome way to get one up on your competitors and hopefully you can use them for your next campaign.